Okay guys, we're back and today we're going to be talking about some video games, like some that are dying, some stuff I'd like to see coming up from some of them. So first of all, some dead or dying games. So first of all, let's start off with one of the biggest hits uh, that was like, the biggest hit of the summer uh, in 2016. And that was uh, Pokemon Go. Of course, right when I turned off that, uh, I get a message. But... Well, biggest hit of the summer was Pokemon Go, by far, and now it's basically uh, the most, or the, probably the game, the deadest game on the list, if that's a word, uh, and next, and then uh, the next one will probably be Minecraft, that's probably pretty dead, uh, in my opinion, and speaking of Minecraft, uh, we're going to take a look at my old channel for my... Uh, birthday video which is tomorrow so stay tuned for that that's gonna be interesting checking out all those old minecraft videos and roast myself before anybody else does for that but I mean that's another game that's dying like cause they don't really add any updates I mean they do add updates but they're just not very interesting like it in my opinion it's just dying now since a lot of its original fan base kind of started to play in other games. Like most of the people now that play games are like, uh, at least in my opinion, a lot of people have moved on to like uh, first person shooter games, uh, games like maybe H1Z1, more game shooter games. Not many people are actually just playing um, normal games nowadays. Like most games, like normal games, like I mean, like creative games or something. Because most people have switched to uh, the uh, war games. Like, I know a lot of Minecraft YouTubers that have stopped playing Minecraft or like switched to Overwatch and stuff like that. Speaking of that, Overwatch is starting to become pretty big, but probably like among my friends and stuff. But probably what I what I'm thinking about doing in the future maybe is starting to get GTA. But all my friends have it on the Xbox, so I w I don't know how I would do it. I have to figure out how to do it. I don't, I don't have an Elgato or anything. I don't have a laptop, so it'd be a bit difficult for me. That's why I never done anything like that. That's why you never saw any vi or nobody ever saw me do any videos of the OG Titanfall because I couldn't record my Xbox. But what um, another dying game or dead game is probably basically like I said last video, all the Pokemon games. Those games are basically dead now. Like nobody plays those. Like Pokemon, probably one of the biggest, bigger dead game, bigger dead companies out of this entire series. Next would probably be, I mean, it's sort of dying. I mean, uh, Clash, uh, Clash Royale, Clash of Clans been around for ages, and it's still got a pretty good fan base. Clash Royale, I'd say the fan base is definitely dying. I'm not sure. Like, how bad it actually is now, but it's definitely dying. Like, I mean, there may still be quite a bit of people, but it's definitely dying, in my opinion. Which is kind of sad, because I still play that occasionally. Like, I have two accounts, so I still play it occasionally. Whenever I, I mean, whenever I feel like it. Just, I just don't play it that much. I've started, like, everybody, all my friends are starting to get back into Clash, uh, Cla Clash of Clans. Which was a really fun game in like the 2010 era, era, and like now it's starting to become big again. Like I told you, that fan base was like never going to die. I don't know how that fan base is staying alive for such a long time, but it's pretty surprising. And then some of the, in my opinion, I mean, some of the Call of Duty fans are. Or Call of Duty is kind of dying out. That's why, like a lot of clans are, and teams are switching to not doing Titan or not doing stuff like that anymore. Like switching to Titanfall and H1Z1. Like I know a lot of people switching to H1Z1. Uh, that game's getting a lot of fame off of this. But, like one of my friends that plays Call of Duty, like what well, he wants to, wants uh, the Activision company to do is. Make it where every other Titanfall is futuristic, like uh, one, one's futuristic, one's in, one, 
So, like say one's futuristic, then the next one just boots on the ground, and it keeps going back and forth. I mean, like they asked, so it sounds like a good idea, but then, like the people that play the futuristic ones, once they beat up, we beat the one that they j release, and then uh, they'd have to wait for the next one, and they'd be working on the futuristic one, so they had to wait a long time for it, which kind of sucks. I was like, in my opinion, they should just to the boots on the ground game, cause boots on the ground. Like, no hate to the company, but I'm just saying, my opinion. Um, if any game company is good at making futuristic games, it's, in my opinion, it's definitely res Respawn. That's probably the best, uh, game company for making those type of games. Because they're, they're basically, their franchise is futuristic. So I think they definitely know how to do futuristic. Like, that's their specialty, I'd say. I mean... Yeah, some could argue with that, but that's just my opinion, so no hate on that. But, like, some of these game companies are just dying. Like, I don't know what's going to be popular anymore. Like, whenever you, what's, when is YouTube going to go to? Like, there are so many questions about all this stuff. Like, nobody knows the answers to any of these things. Like, nobody will really know when any of these things are going to happen. I mean, unless you can, like, predict the future or something. But like, nobody knows what how the next Call of Duty is gonna do or something like that. Like, I'm I'm glad Titanfall is definitely taking off an H1Z1. Like, I mean, but there there's only seems to be like a select few number of games that are really big right now, and one of them, in my opinion, is Titanfall. The next one is Pro Titanfall, Battlefield, Infinite Warfare, sort of big. Uh, I mean, not really. So, Battlefield, Titanfall, uh, and H1Z1 are, in my opinion, some of the bigger games right now. Uh, and probably um, GTA, but I mean, it's not as massive, I'd say, as like the Call of Duty communities. Like, Battlefield by far has the biggest fan base out of all of the ones I just said. Because, like, I did a research on this, and Battlefield, uh, sometimes on the console, it has 202,000 people. And, like, Titanfall, the most I see, well, normally I only see, like, 2,000 people. But the most I normally see is, like, five to 7,000. Which is a very small fraction of what Battlefield has, which, I mean, I think you just have, like, one-fourth of what Battlefield has on this game. That'd be awesome. But sadly, we do not have that. We just gotta deal with what we have. I mean, that's like what a lot of the developers are saying. Or, and stuff like that. You just need bigger, well not developers, but just like game companies. Some of them need bigger fan bases for stuff like this. And did you just see that throwing star we did? I like more baller for that. Okay, Titan, get over here. Skirt, skirt. Skirt your way here. Let's just kill them. And that's probably going to be it for this video, guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.